Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the final moment and the host of Idiot's Delight on WNUW-FM, Vince Gelser. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, good evening and welcome. Welcome to the bottom line. Those of you who are here in the club. And welcome to the bottom line, those of you who are at home listening to us throughout the tri-state area. Because we are live on the radio right now on WNEW-FM. This special edition of Idiot's Delight being brought to you commercial free on WNEW-FM. So... I guess it's uh, us and Schindler's List tonight, huh? <laughs> I made some notes. I haven't done this in a while. I wanted to make sure that I said everything that I planned to say. So for um, the last couple of weeks, I've been just writing some things down about towns. First time I met Towns was in 1969. Uh, he walked into my funky little radio studio at WFMU in East Orange, New Jersey. All right, some of you guys know that. He was with his friend Kevin Eggers. Kevin's probably here somewhere tonight. Hey, Kevin, how you doing? Kevin was the owner of Poppy Records. That was the label the Towns recorded for back in those days. And I remember the Towns was wearing that, uh, that brown suede jacket of his, the one that he's wearing on the cover of Delta Mama Blues. He sat down in front of the microphones like he was right at home and he started singing some of the most beautiful, otherworldly music that I'd ever heard. I was immediately a fan and friend for life. And after we got off the air in the middle of the night, we went and hung out at a Greasy Spoon Diner in East Orange. It was a very towns kind of place. He immediately felt at home there. And uh, he told me gambling stories until dawn. It was a little scary, but nevertheless, I still felt as if I was a fan and a friend for life. Towns appeared several times with me on WFMU that year, and I'm proud to be one of the many people around the world who can lay claim to the brag that Towns Van Zandt crashed on my living room sofa on any number of occasions. We did radio shows together throughout the 70s and 80s, and it's such an ironically Towns kind of fact that none of my tapes from those shows survive in any kind of playable fashion. Nevertheless, I find it rather appropriate that I'm here tonight to broadcast this show live on Idiot's Delight, and I promise to take real good care of these tapes. Towns Van Zandt wrote some of the saddest, most forlorn songs that have ever been written. He also wrote some of the most loving and achingly beautiful his greatest songs combined all these elements with a kind of audacious simplicity. They sound like he had simply drawn them up from a deep well where they had always existed. Now it goes without saying, he influenced an entire generation of songwriters, maybe a couple of them at this point. People like everybody who will be here on the stage tonight, people like Jimmy Dale and Joe and the Timminses. People like Steve Earle and Nancy Griffith and Lyle Lovett and Lucinda Williams and Robert Earl Keane and Sean Colvin and so many others, they all tip their hat to Towns Van Zandt. I can't tell you how many times I sat here at the bottom line or at the old downtown Lone Star next to a songwriter and saw Towns up on the stage quite literally take that person's breath away with the turn of a phrase. Or how often his name would come up during a radio conversation with a songwriter and everything would have to come to a complete stop so that we could play some of Towns' records. Towns Van Zandt told the corniest jokes known to mankind. He told these jokes, he always said to me, to offset the pain of the songs, to make the songs go down easier on both his audience and on himself. Man, he always told me, if I didn't tell those stupid jokes, we'd all be slitting our wrists out there, Vinny. <laughs> Steve Earle said at uh, the memorial service to Towns that it was Towns 
staring into that dark abyss of despair, doing it for all the rest of us that made it possible for all the rest of us to experience it without really having to go there. You know, Towns was kind of like those monks who sit on the tops of mountains interceding for us on behalf of the heavens. Now, Towns was also the thinnest man I've ever known. The only other man I've met who was that thin was his old pal, Mickey Newberry. You looked at Towns sideways sometimes, and he'd practically disappear. In 1987, when we did our last radio show together, I hadn't seen him for a few years, and I looked at him and I said, Don't you ever eat, man? You're so thin, Towns. And Towns looked at me and said, Man, I eat. You remember all those Dairy Queens in Wisconsin? Parentheses. I once went on the road with Towns, the winter of 1970, the winter of Led Zeppelin's Whole lot of Love. We were on the college coffee house circuit. Towns was coming off a bad bout of hepatitis, and his doctors predicted that any consumption of alcohol would undoubtedly kill him, a notion that Towns found rather appealing at the time. Well, Kevin Eggers sent me out with him to make sure that he didn't drink. Hey. Do you know how many bars there are in Milwaukee, Wisconsin? <laughs> Luckily, there were a lot of Dairy Queens, too. I put on 15 pounds that winter. Towns, goddamn him, not an ounce. So in 1987, when we were doing that radio show together, I finally said to him something that I've always wanted to say to him, something that all of us who had known him over the years had always in the backs of our minds. I looked at him and I said, Towns, you know, you're the kind of guy people always say should be dead by now. How come you're not? And he looked at me straight in the eye. Towns Van Zandt had a way of looking you straight in the eye that sent chills up and down your spine. He looked at me straight in the eye and he said, Vinny, just lucky, I guess. Well, his luck and hours for having him finally ran out on January 1st, 1997. Ironically, he died on the same day that Hank Williams died, New Year's Day. And as the years go by, his name and Hank's, which have frequently been spoken in the same sentence, will be linked more and more by people when they talk about great American archetypal songwriters. At some point... In the not-too-distant future, Towns Van Zandt, like Hank Williams and Lead Belly and Robert Johnson and Bessie Smith, will pass into the realm of American mythology. But before that happens, we come here tonight to remember his reality, not his myth. To remember his humanity, his heart, his humor, his warmth, yes, his demons, his friendship, and his love. We're here tonight thanks to Harold Steinblatt of Guitar Magazine Acoustic and his brother Jim Steinblatt of ASCAP. This night was their idea. Thank you. And thanks to Alan Pepper and Stanley Snedowski of The Bottom Line for so graciously having us here. And a big tip of my hat to Mark Chernoff at WNEWFM for saying yes without hesitation when I asked him if I could broadcast tonight's show live on the radio. And thanks most of all to Janine Van Zandt for giving us her blessing in this endeavor. The last time I saw Towns perform was on this stage here at the bottom line in uh, November of 1995. Towards the end of the show, it was possibly even for his last encore he sang a song he hadn't written, but which he had taken to performing a lot during that period in his life. It's a real old Red Foley song. Some of you might know it. That performance combined all the things I loved about Towns. It was twisted and touching and loving and scary and funny and heartbreaking. So as we prepare to spend an evening with his songs tonight, performed by his friends, and the musicians he influenced and touched. Let's dim the stage lights here for a minute. That's Towns' guitar over there. That's the one he was playing that last night here at the bottom line. So if it's okay 
with you, we'll dim these stage lights for a minute and we'll conjure up the voice, the presence, the essence of our old friend, our old amigo. Ladies and gentlemen, Towns Van Zandt. This is maybe, I have a lot of kind of sad, seemingly sad songs, you know. But uh, this one takes the cake. This one's so sad that I can, it's hard to get through it. But, no. <laughs> fun to play. I don't know why I started playing it again. I've been playing it for years. Right? <clears throat> well, when I... It's like, already here we go, okay. When I was a lad, old ship was a pup. Over fields and meadows we stray Just a boy and his dog We were both full of fun We grew up together that way I remember the time By the old swimming hole Where I would have ran beyond doubt Jumped in and helped pull me out. <laughs> but the years fast and rolled. Old ship, he grew old. His eyes, they were fast growing dim. And one day the doctor looked at me and said, I can't do no more for him, Jim. With hands that were trembling, I picked up my gun. I aimed at a ship's faithful head. <laughs> this is the this is always the toughest part, right? <clears throat> With hands that were trembling, I picked up. I wish they would shoot me in the street. Old ship, now he's gone where the good dogs all go. <laughs> no. <coughs> no more. This one out there. <clears throat> Dogs have a heaven. There's one thing I know. Old Ship has a beautiful home. is a hard act to follow. <laughs> well, I am proud and honored to be here on this occasion. Um, this is a little hard, you know. We, uh, all of us here that are performing tonight, and I suppose probably all of you, really loved this man and his music. God, I didn't know it was going to get like this. This song is supposed to be one of the happy ones. <laughs> I'm 
I'm Jimmy Dale Gilmore. I forgot I'm supposed to introduce myself. Well, I ain't gonna sing no lonesome thing. Oh, babe, I'm coming soon. I cannot believe I stayed so long away. But a man must look around. And you're the sweetest thing I've found. All your lost high rollers rolling home today. Well, my daddy said to me, Son, it's hard as you will see to find someone upon whom to rely. And in the kitchen, Mama sneezed, and he grinned big as you please. Said, bless you, and the tear come to his eye. Well, I did decide that very day that I would like to live that way. And now I know I've just been wasting time. It's with you that I should be. And if you feel the same about me, well, I'm headed home along the straightest line. I'm Jonelle Mosser, and this is Joe Ely accompanying me. If I needed you, would you come to me? Would you come to me to ease my pain? Lupin Lillard 
It's a sight to see If I needed you, would you come to me? Would you come to me and ease my pain? If you needed me, I would come to you. I'd swim the seas for to ease your pain. You'll see Joe a little bit later on tonight. I want to ask Henry Aronson to come out here and play for me. Here he is. This is the way Towns originally heard me do this song, just piano and vocal, and the way he liked it best. Tears 
and a drunken smile. I can't help thinking of a wilder meaning won't be wasted. Got to fall Sunrise comes, but I don't know why. 
If I could introduce, I asked if I could introduce this next artist because I'm so proud to be here with her as well. Uh, I I love Wrecking Ball, Emmy Lou's last album, and on that album was just a, a wonderful song called Orphan Girl. And and if you've ever heard the original singer's version of that, you you must hear that. She's a wonderfully talented person. Her record is my favorite record of last year. I want to introduce Gillian Welsh and her wonderful, brilliant. Playing partner and composer uh, David Rawlings. Thanks very much. What a nice introduction. Uh, I'm Gillian Welch, and this is my partner David Rawlings, and we're very happy to be here. This is, things kind of pick up a little after this.
Oh, tomorrow the mountains will be sleeping. Silent neath the blanket, green and blue. Oh, but I'll hear the silence they are keeping. And I'll bring all their promises to you. My name is Paul Kay. I'm from Kentucky, Central Kentucky. That's a big difference. your sky, I tasted your earth, sung out my heart for what it was worth, never again shall I ramble, there's nowhere left in this world where to go, my arms and my legs, they're trembling. Thoughts both cloudy and blue as the sky Not even worth remembering Now as I stumble, reel to my bed All that I've done and all that I've said Means nothing to me, I'd as soon as be dead and all of this world be forgotten No words of comfort, no words of advice Nothing to offer a stranger Gone the love, gone the spite it just does not matter no longer The sky is getting cloudy and the ground is getting close Myself's going crazy the way that it does I lie on my pillow and sleep if I must Too late to wish I'd been stronger Wish I'd been stronger. I thought everybody's going to make big pontificating speeches before all their songs tonight. And I resolved I wouldn't do that just to say that this man was truly my hero.
Don't go saying I'm leaving you Thinking I never got close enough to stay As time runs in and runs out And this starts again It's always been that way You're gonna drown tomorrow If you cry too many tears for yesterday Tomorrow's half of all you got, so treat him good, cause when I'm gone, he'll stay. I won't be forgetting you, you won't be forgetting me, I know. When memory comes on the summer's breeze and rains sweetness down to me below. See you like you look right now Mostly wonder why I have to go And heaven is the way she is Rain falls and rivers flow So here's the feeling good And here's the feeling bad Thankful for the sorrows, guilty for the pleasures that we had. The autumn rains and window panes, God forgive us if you feel deceived. The clock don't know you like I do, it's only him or me you got to believe. Autumn rains and window panes God forgive us if you feel deceived The clock don't know you like I do It's only him or me got to be Thanks very much Thank you for coming, everybody. Figured if I forgot one of the words, it wouldn't be so bad, because Towns used to do that once in a while. But I brought my cheat sheet, because I wanted to learn a brand new song. There's so many great town songs. And uh, the first one, though, that I did, that I mean that I'm going to do, is one that I did uh, way back when. It's the first song I ever heard, and originally I heard it by Emmylou Harris. And she's a, a real big influence to me. And, and that, that first record that had this song made me go out and search out his songs. And I found uh, Live at the Quarter House in, in uh, Houston, Texas. And it had like 25 songs and I was in heaven. But uh, here's one that I think you all will remember. I used to think that maybe Town stole this from me because it felt like it was part of my life. Keep you free and clean Now you wear your skin like iron And your breath's hard as kerosene You weren't your mama's only boy But her favorite one it seems She began to cry when you said goodbye And sank into her dream Horses fast 
like polished steel And he wore his gun outside his pants For all the honest world to feel Pancho met his match, you know In the deserts down in Mexico Nobody heard his dying words Oh, but that's the way it goes And all the federales say They could have had him any day But they only let him slip away Out of kindness, I suppose and Lefty, he can't sing the blues all night long like he used to and The dust that Poncho bit down south Ended up in Lefty's mouth and The day they laid poor Poncho low Lefty split for Ohio And where he got the bread to go There ain't nobody knows And all the federalists say They could have had him any day But they only let him slip away Out of kindness, I suppose Poncho fell And Lefty's living in a cheap hotel And the desert's quiet And Cleveland's cold And so the story ends We're told Poncho needs your prayers It's true But save a few for Lefty too Cause he only did What he had to do Growing old And a few great federalities say They could have had him any day They only let him go so wrong Out of kindness is what they say Now it's gone. At your arms, you hold another. 
another Never to hold him again I have life to leave a lover You have life to give the wind Brother flower, are you sleeping there upon the cold, cold ground? Brother flower, please awaken. Show the sky your face of blue. Let me know I ain't forsaken. Seems like all I have is you. Seems like all I have is you. Brother Flower, are you listening? Let me sing a song for you. Brother Flower, petals glistening in the morning dew. Brother Flower, when the snow flies and the sun is thrown away. Brother Flower, are you sleeping? Brother Flower, will you stay? Lizzie Flores, live on the radio here on this special edition of Idiots Delight of the WNEW FM of New York. We're down at the bottom line, celebrating the life and music of Towns Van Zandt. Coming up next, Steve Shelley and his band Two Dollar Guitar. Steve Shelley, many of you know as the drummer with Sonic Youth. He was producing Towns' last sessions in Memphis at the end of 1996 with his band. Two dollar guitar as Townsend's backup band. Hey, um, we're two dollar guitar. It's Dave Motama, that's Steve Shelley. I'm Tim Folion. We're gonna uh, we're gonna do a song that uh, we were trying to do with Towns, trying to record with Towns in Memphis um, right before he got away. And uh, it's a good one. Well, the world is 
still blue And my word is still true I believe I'm turning hollow She does as she pleases If ever she leaves I will strangle upon the sorrow from uh, Memphis. Hi, hi.
can guide your way to go on tour in Europe on a festival tour with Towns and a whole bunch of other people. So it was, it was great to meet him. This is called The Hell You Speak Of.
to you all. It's great to be here. Thanks for coming out. Once again, that was Steve Sheldon's trio. Two dollar guitar, joined by Lorette Velvet. They were the last musicians to record with Towns Van Zandt back in December down in Memphis. We're broadcasting Idiots Delight live from the stage of the bottom line tonight here on WNEW FM in New York. Joe Ely is about to return to the stage. Hello. I'm Joe Ely, and I'm glad to be here. A tribute to my amigo Towns Van Zandt. <laughs> For, uh, first time I met Towns, I was uh, I was in Lubbock, Texas, and uh, I see this kind of scarecrow-looking guy walking down the street. And he's got a backpack on that's bigger than he is. And he, uh, he either looks like he's, uh, either lost or going somewhere. <laughs> and I knew he was on the road to nowhere, and so I offered him a ride, uh, out to the other side of the liquor stores. And in Lubbock, everything is dry except out on the other side of the strip, you know. And, uh, so as a payment for that, he, uh, he opens up this backpack. There's not one stitch of clothes in the backpack. There's 25 record albums in there that he had just made in San Francisco. Uh, it was the Our Mother of the Mountain record. And uh, he gave me an album, and uh, I had just met, met Jimmy Gilmore in uh, Lubbock, and I took that record over, and we listened to that record for all night long, uh, for weeks after that. And it was a huge inspiration for us. And uh, uh, through the years, I ran into Towns many times, and uh, he always denied that story. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know where it's... I learned this song off that first record. Sometimes I don't know where this dirty road's taking me Sometimes I don't even know the reason why I guess I'll keep a gambling lots of booze and lots of rambling It's easier than just waiting around to die One time ago I had a ma, he even had a pa He beat her with a belt when his cause she cried Told him to take care of me, headed down to Tennessee well, it's easier than just a waiting around to die. Well, I came of age and I found a girl in a Tuscaloosa bar. She cleaned me out and hit it on the slide. I tried to hide the pain, I bought some wine and hopped a train. But it's easier than just a waiting around to die. Now a friend of mine said he knew where some easy money was We robbed a man and brother, did we fly? The sheriff caught me and brought me back to Muskogee Two long years of waiting around to die Well, now I'm out of jail, and I got me a friend at last. He don't drink or steal or cheat or lie. His name is Codeine, he's the nicest friend I've seen. Yeah, together we're gonna wait around and die. Yeah, together we're gonna wait around and die. Yeah, together we're gonna wait around and die. Thank you. The next time I saw Towns was uh, down a little town that was inside of Austin Town called Clarksville. 
and uh, Townsend, his, his buddy uh, named Uncle Seymour, who Townsend was living in, they had just invented a word, and they used it for everything. And the word was marogany. <laughs> and uh, you could use it for any kind of, like, we got ourselves in one hell of a marogany today. <laughs> and uh, our, if you're working on a car, you could say, if you didn't know the name of a part, you could say, hand me that marogany there. <laughs> and so uh, that word kind of stuck in my head. And uh, uh, I've, I've used that word often myself to describe situations that I get myself in. Uh, and soon after that, I, I had played Guy Clark uh, a song that I had written uh, when I was traveling around in the circus with Ringman Brothers. And Guy had played it to Towns, and uh, Towns recorded it. And uh, I heard it on the radio one day, and I thought, that song sounds very familiar. <laughs> I called, uh, I saw Guy soon after that, and uh, Guy told me about this song, and uh, I want to do it for you. I've never recorded it myself, but it was a great thrill to have Towns Van Zandt do this song, uh, which Towns actually stops in the middle of the song and tells the audience how much he hates circus songs. It's called Indian Cowboy. If you ever go out to the circus where the wallin does walk on the wire, I'll tell you a tale to remember. When the white horse is leap rings of fire Was a cold night in Oklahoma The show was about to begin The animals, they were all restless When the star pony leaped from her pen Now she was a mare of high spirit Like a whore on Saturday night just kicking in a button past the men who's brushing the elephants lying on their sides. Close to the tent sit some lanterns, dangerously next to the hay. That mare headed straight for those lanterns that some fool had put there by mistake. Up steps some Indian cowboy. His lasso went whirling through the air In the full dead middle of danger He roped that runaway mare The elephants raised up their trumpets Two of them broke from their chains Stampeded that Indian cowboy Who had saved the big top from flame So if you ever go out to the circus Where the wild end does walk on the wire Remember that Indian cowboy When the white horse is leaping rings of fire When the white horse is leaping rings of fire That's the towns. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm here tonight with Dan Petty and Joe Chiafalo on accordion. Any second? Collectively, we're known as Mary Lee's Corvette. And uh, I had, I think, kind of a unique experience. I'm one of probably the few people here tonight who can say that she slow danced with Towns Van Zandt. He kept a very respectable distance. Like this microphone. <laughs> I was a newlywed attending the Winnipeg Folk Festival with my husband Eric, and we ended up hanging out with Guy Clark in Towns. And the last night 
of the festival, there was a party for all the artists. And uh, we were in this banquet hall. We were all sitting at a big table together. And I saw Towns get up and go over to Eric and whisper in his ear, can I ask your wife to dance? And fortunately for me, Eric said yes. So I have that very tender memory. And we're going to do No Place to Fall. Cordes, Mary Lee's Corvette, performing live on stage at the bottom line. To live is to fly, a celebration of the life and music of Towns Van Zandt over WNEW FM in New York. Hello, I'm Tom Russell with uh, Andrew Harden on the guitar. It's good to be here. I was worried. I thought we might have to do Mr. Mud and Mr. Gold, which I've been trying to learn for about 15 years. Thankfully, we don't. I'm not much of a poker player. The first time I met Towns was in Kerrville, Texas, about 20 years ago. I said, Towns, can you explain Mr. Mud and Mr. Gold to me? And he said, Amigo, take your boots off. He goes, we'll run a foot race. We'll arm wrestle. 
and then we'll shoot craps. And if you beat me two out of three, I'll tell you what the song means. <laughs> and I got down in the mud of Kerrville like a fool, began struggling with my boots, and I got them off. I looked around, Towns was gone. <laughs> Never saw him again for three years. He taught me some hard lessons. Though. The name she gave was Caroline. The daughter of a miner. And her ways were free, and it seemed to me The sunshine walked beside her She come from Spencer, across the ridge She said her pa had sent her for the cold was low And soon the snow Would turn Those skies to winter She said she'd come To look for work She was not seeking favor for a dime a day And a place to stay She turned Those hands to labor But the times were hard And the jobs were few All through Tecumseh Valley but she asked around And a job she found Tending bar For Gypsy Sally She made enough To go back home When spring replaced the winter but her dreams were denied Her paw had died The word came down from Spencer So she took the horn Out on the street With all the lust inside her and it was many men returned again to lay themselves beside her. They found her down below the stairs that led to Gypsy Sally. And in her hand when she died Was a note to cry Fare thee well To come survive
And Andrew Harden, live on stage at the bottom line here on this special edition of Idiot's Delight, Towns Van Zandt Song Night, live from the bottom line. Hi, uh, my name is David Olney. And I think someone uh, should say, because Towns would have, that uh, time flies like an arrow, fruit flies like a banana. <laughs> songs for me, I'm not the one to tenderly bring her soft sympathy I've just begun to see my way clear and it's plain, if I stop I will fall I can lay down a tear for her pain a tear and that's all What does she want me to do? She says that she knows Moments are rare, I suppose That it's true But then on she goes To say I don't care ah, She knows that I do well, Maybe she just has to sing For the sake of the song I think that I am to decide that she's wrong She 
She'd like to think I was cruel But she knows that's the life where I would be No more than a tool If I allow her to cry all over me All my sorrow is real even though I can't change my plans If she could see how I feel I know that she'd understand Does she actually think I'm to blame? Does she really believe That some word of mine could relieve All her pain? Don't she see that she grieves Just because she's been blindly deceived By her shame Maybe she just has to sing For the sake of the song And who do I think that I am To decide that she's wrong Ah, but nothing's what it seems Maybe someday she'll start to realize If she abandons her dreams All the words she can say are only lies Can she see that to win Is only to lose All that she offers me are her chains And I got to refuse But it's only to herself that she's lying She likes to pretend There's something that she should defend With her pride And I don't intend To stand here and be the friend From whom she must hide Well maybe she just has to sing For the sake of the song And who do I think that I am To decide that she's wrong Maybe she just has to sing For the sake of the song called Dollar Bill Blues. I'm very proud that Towns is my friend. Well, if I had a dollar bill, yes, I believe I surely will go to town and drink my fill early in the morning. Yes, I believe I surely will Go to town and drink my fill Early in the morning Mother was a golden girl Slit her throat just to get her pearls Cast myself into a world Before a bunch of swine Thing. Lord, she makes my legs to sing Gonna buy her a diamond ring Early in the morning Well, I've always been a gambling man Roll them bones with either hand Seven is the promised land Early in the morning It's a long way 
went down the Harlan Road and busted back in a heavy load. Can't get through to save my soul early in the morning. Will whiskey be my dying bed? Tell me where to lay my head. Not with me is all she said early in the morning. dollar bill. Yes, I believe I surely will. Go to town and drink my fill early in the morning. Sounds like a hello test. Sounds like a, a lot of you people are just getting to know this guy. And I know Towns you want me to tell you that this guy's a sleeping giant. He's wonderful. <laughs> David's one of the few uh, writers that uh, had a chance to have one of his songs sung by Towns, and he would never. This guy's so shy and understated, but he's just one. Really thrilled to be out here with him doing something for Towns. I'm, I'm glad to be here too. <laughs> uh, count it off, or should I count it? John Scholl over there again, right? <laughs> Round of records, John Scholl. I'm bound to leave this 
dark behind Ride the blue wind high and free She'll lead you down to misery Leave you low, come time to go Alone and low, as low can be Ride the blue wind, ride the blue wind. She'll lead you down, she'll lead you down. Leave you low, come time to go. Alone and low, as low can be. Thanks a lot, John Show. Son, JT. Thanks, you guys, for coming out. It's a pleasure to be here with Towns' best friends, honoring my dad's music. And, uh, Listening from back there, it's like, I was almost afraid to be out in the audience rather than up here. It sounds pretty intense, but uh, Townsend's passing has, it mainly, mainly it's super sad for us due to the loss. But for Towns, I'm not so sad. He's basically doing the same thing he was doing, just in a different form, a lot less pain. And he lived fast, no doubt, and it caught up to him. And his body wasn't keeping up with his soul anymore. So now it's, you know, it's where it should be. And he'll live on. I'll always have his music and his memory, his spirit. And he had an incredible sense of humor, which hadn't been really translated tonight. Um, just because it's so emotional for all of us backstage. So I was going to tell the corniest towns joke I've ever heard. <laughs> just to try to lighten things up. And it's... Uh, um, what did the snail say while riding on the turtle's back? Wee hee hee. <laughs> to leave but believe and I don't mind cause it's a coming that I crave pour the sun upon the ground stand to throw a shadow watch it grow into a light fill a spinning sky and time among the pine trees Feels like a breath of air But usually I just walk these streets And tell myself to care Sometimes I believe me Sometimes I don't hear Sometimes the shape I'm in Won't let me go And I don't know too much for true My heart knows how to pound My legs know how to love someone My voice knows how to sound And it's a shame that it's not enough It's a shame that it is a shame Follow the circle down And where would you be? I've never heard your name 
Let's hope we meet someday But if we don't, it's all the same I'll meet the ones between us And be thinking about you All the places I have seen And why you were not there Is John Towns Van Zandt the second? JT Towns' son, live on stage from the bottom line here on WNEW FM New York.
hope you'll uh, excuse my cheat notes. I um, <laughs> I uh, wasn't expecting to do this, so I didn't have much time to put these songs in my brains. And one thing about Towns is he put a lot of words in his songs. And, uh, <laughs> I guess the thing that uh, I have most in common with Towns as a s singer is that um, I, I tend to blank out on words every once in a while, and Towns do the same thing, so um, <laughs> I'm sure he'll forgive me for cheating a bit. Anyway, uh, this next song is probably one of the songs that I think Towns wrote that said it all. It's called To Live Is To Fly.
love my chance. Wow. That was Michael and Margot Timmons from Cowboy Junkies, of course. They had the honor of having Towns write a song for them called Cowboy Junkies Lament. This is WNEWFM, New York. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for coming and sharing this celebration with us tonight. And I'm really glad it was a celebration instead of something else. That's the way Townsend won it. It's pretty obvious that his music is alive. I'm still Jimmy Dale Gilmore. I saw her on a summer storm I looked her but she did not know it Now I don't think about her anymore Now she's gone and I can't believe it So I don't think about her anymore If three and four was seven only Where would that leave one and two? If love can be and still be lonely, where does that leave me and you? Time there was and time there will be, where does that leave me and you? If I had a buckskin stallion, I'd tame him down and ride away. If I had a silver schooner, I'd sail into the light of day If I had your love forever I'd sail into the light of day Pretty songs in pretty places Places that I've never seen Pretty songs and pretty faces Tell me what their laughter means Some look like they'd cry forever Tell me what their laughter means If I had a buckskin stallion I'd tame him down and ride away If I had a golden galleon I'd sail into the light Day. If I had your love forever, I'd sail into the light of day. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. Thanks for being here. Thanks to town for all of this stuff we had tonight. And thanks to all these people that performed tonight. This is really a wonderful evening. That was Jimmy Dale Gilmore, performing live here on stage at the bottom line to close tonight's tribute to Towns Van Zandt. Jimmy Dale was also our opening act as well. I'm Vin Skelsa. I'm backstage right now, stuck in the, uh, the refrigerator room, I think. I don't know. I've never really spent any time back here before. Let me run down for you the order in which everybody played tonight. It was Jimmy Dale Gilmore, John L. Mosser, Chip Taylor, Gillian Welch and David Rawlings, Paul Kay, Rosie Flores, Steve Shelley and Two Dollar Guitar. They performed along with Laurette Velvet. Joe Ely, Mary Lee Cordes and Mary Lee's Corvette. Tom Russell along with Andrew Harden. David Olney. Uh, David Olney performed with Chip Taylor as well. And then JT, John Towns Van Zandt II, Towns' son, performed. 
Michael and Margot Timmons, Cowboy Junkies, and finally Jimmy Dale Gilmore. We want to thank uh, Alan Pepper, of course, and Stanley Snedowski here at the bottom line. Harold Steinblatt of, let me get the name correct now, it was Guitar World Magazine. I misnamed the magazine a bit earlier. Jim Steinblatt of ASCAP. Those are the two guys who uh, put this whole show together. Danny Capillian, David Vander Hayden, Tom Gartland, and the whole staff here at the bottom line. Paul Altimus, Joe Aiello, my guys. Terry Gabus, Richard Scott, Michael Smith, and Liam Halligan, their guys. Of course, Mark Chernoff and WNEWFM for letting us broadcast this show as a special edition of Idiot's Delight. Commercial free on WNEWFM. To Dan Neer and Kara Manning, thanks as well. And of course, a big tip of the hat to Janine Van Zant, Towns' wife. I'm Vince Gelsa. You've been listening to To Live Is To Fly, Towns Van Zant, a celebration of his life and music, a co-presentation of Guitar World, Acoustic, ASCAP, and The Bottom Line. Net proceeds from uh, ticket sales tonight will benefit an education fund for Katie Van Zant. Towns is his daughter. So, we're going to return now to the studio, take a commercial break, and then we'll listen to some of Towns' own recordings here on WNEW-FM.